Welcome to Afra's Artifacts, where we do some archaeology of our own and dig into the queer side of Star Wars. I'm your host, Alia Morgan, and it's so great to have you here. Well, in this video, we're talking about the breakup between Condor Kyle and Sindra Rothvilas. It is so sad. Um, Sindra feels unworthy of Condor. He feels like um, he's a bad man who does not deserve a Condor's loving, gentle nature. And <clears throat> here we have the actual narrative where they break up. Condor asks, you all right? It's a loaded question. Condor knows that Sinjur is most certainly not all right. Whatever bliss the two of them possessed prior to Liberation Day has dissolved like a sandcastle under siege by the sea. Stress has throttled them both. So when Condor asks that question, Sinjur wonders if it's wise to give the real answer. But he's tired of pretending otherwise. I am both better now than I was and worse, he says. What he does not say is, I killed a man because he upset my friends, which only confirms for him what he's long suspected and irresponsibly denied. Sinjur is not a good person. He is a bad man with a talent for bad things. Condor comes over and takes Sinjur's hand. Condor's hands are warm. Sinjur's are cold. It'll be okay, Condor promises. But it is a promise he cannot know. He's sweet and optimistic, translated naive as a wandering waif. Sinjur decides in that moment. He leans forward and kisses Condor hard, and then tells him, I am not the man for you, Condor Kyle. I am a moral weather vane spinning in this hurricane. You need a nicer breed of man than I. He thinks, I love you, but that doesn't matter. Yet those words never make it to his lips. All he does is leave. Oh, it's so sad. Um, so he he tells Condor that I'm a bad man. You need a good man. And um, throughout the the story, as the story continues, every time he see Sindra sees Condor or thinks about Condor, there's a there's a parenthetical thought. Um, so in parentheses, there's a thought like, "Damn it, man! Think about something else," or. Why can't I get him out of my head? So it's it's constantly you see that this is not truly the end for them. So at one point, Sinjur goes to ask for Condor's slicing help because there's a bad situation that's going on. Um, Leia has a uh, bug in her uh, apartment. And so they're going to figure out who the bug is from, where the bug is, all that sort of stuff. So Sinjur asks... May I come in, Condor? And if I said no, Sinjur, then I would pout so powerfully my moppishness would take corporeal form and kick the door down. Will you help, he asked Condor, on one condition. There are no conditions. You'll not hold me hostage with emotional blackmail. Either you will help or you won't, Condor sighs. I just want to know why you left me. Sinjur, because we were done. Condor, obviously I... Oh, Condor, you could have fooled me. Sinjur, obviously I did fool you. The slicer chews on that. Yes, indeed you did at that. He's angry now. Good. Be mad, you fool. Don't be so daft as to fall for a villain such as me. Condor says, I'll help you. So, despite the situation, Condor is such a good guy that he does help them. Um, he, he does help them find the bug. And then later on, Condor gets kidnapped, and although a senator's child is also kidnapped, um, all Sinjur is worried about is Condor and saving him. So, Sinjur's thinking of Chewie being Han's co-pilot, how he's furry and smelly and all these things, but that he is Han's co-pilot. Um, so he says, he thinks, and yet that was the man's co-pilot, his friend, his family. I have co-pilots too. It's taken Sinjur some time to see that. Certainly he's come to see these people around him as his friends, his family. And yet there's one more co-pilot out there. Condor Kyle. Damn it, Blast. Damn it. I never should have left him. Condor makes Sinjur a better man. Just as Chewie helped to make Solo one too. We both need our co-pilots, it seems. We need to think, Sinjur says, because I need to get Condor back. He's important to me, Solo. You understand? 
I hear you loud and clear, says Han Solo. So that's the, the straw. The last straw is when um, Condra gets kidnapped and Sinjur's like, oh my God, I've got to save him. I can't live without him. I've got to be with him. And, um, and then in the next video, you'll see what happens when they find each other again, when Sinjur um, ends up saving Condor and how that interaction goes. And it is so sweet and so wonderful. And I, I just love these two. I think they're great. Um, please comment down below on what you think about their breakup. Um, what you think about this down along with the ups. And remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter at Alia Morgan, and peruse my blog at thestarsreview.blogspot.com.